As a new real estate agent, our to-do list is a mile long. And at the top of that list is lead generation. But where do we begin? We wanna be a modern agent and attract leads through Facebook ads, but what ads do we run? If you look at other people's ads, they're showing their previous listings or their previous clients, but as a new agent, we have nothing. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the three Facebook ads that I used that generated 60 leads in 14 days. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Sharman and I'm a realtor here in Houston, Texas. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you know when our next video comes out. So today I'm gonna to show you the three ads that I use to attract 60 buyer leads in 14 days, especially as a new real estate agent with no clients, no previous listings and starting from zero. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to post that Facebook ad and make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you the exact Facebook ad copy that I use for all three ads and my seller's ad that you'll be able to download. Let's jump right in. All right, so we're gonna show you how to do the ad for open houses in your area. So a couple of important things before we start you're definitely going to need a link that has a filtered search result because that's where we're going to send everybody that wants to get that list of open houses in a specific area. So um, I utilize KV Core. That's what um, our brokerage gives to us for free um, as a part of being with a brokerage. Um, if you don't have a CRM, I highly recommend that one. It is very expensive um, if you're going to do it out on your own. But whatever you do, just do a search result for open houses in that area um, and then filter it, okay? Because see, ours even has just like a link you can click on to immediately see open houses in that area. Um, so you're definitely going to want that. And the reason why is when you send them here, you're definitely going to need a CRM to be able to import your leads, which we'll get to in another video how to automatically import those. But it's very important to send them here so when they start clicking that it's automatically going to collect their information and then create search alerts for them. So this is the reason why you want to really send them to your CRM. It's because you're going to pay for these leads. You don't want to waste them. And it's nice to know the things that they're looking at. So that way you can reach out to them and see and say, hey, I noticed you were interested in a four bedroom, three bath house. Is that still... Uh, currently what you're looking for um, and it'll build a profile for them so if you're interested in having kv core and your brokerage doesn't offer it reach out to me um, and i can tell you what our group is doing differently and all the resources that we provide so let's go ahead and get started you're going to want to get into your facebook ad manager and make sure that that is set up and then we're going to go ahead and click create and then we're going to have two options that we could use we could either send direct traffic directly to a website or a landing page, or we could do lead generation. Now, I prefer lead generation because Facebook automatically imports their name, their email address, and their phone number if I, or whatever data I choose to do, um, and it automatically does that. And the reason why traffic sometimes um, can be great is because it is cheaper than lead generation. I've paid sometimes $9 a lead from to $2 a lead. It just depends on how many, uh, what's your competition and how much competition there is for that type of search. So traffic, you can get a cheaper per click and usually a lot more people clicking, but the quality of the traffic for me is not as great as lead generation. Um, so just depends on what your goals are and what your budget is for the sake of today, we're going to go to lead generation. But if you are going to do a traffic, make sure that you have a landing page that will capture their data, import it into your CRM, and then redirect them to that link. And you can do all that with KV core as well. However, with this, just make sure that you're doing that because you're paying for these leads. And you don't want to give away the free information before you capture their lead. So let's go ahead and click lead generation. And we're going to go ahead and just name these. And I've already, oops, 
Um, let's go ahead and name these lead gen. Uh, let's say sugar land open houses. Okay. And you can name them whatever you want. You're going to want to know, um, you know, what they are when you go look back. Um, you could put the month there if you're going to just run an ad for a few weeks each month. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right. So now we're here. We're going to be able to create our ads. So we're right here at the campaign level. And this is where you're going to want to make sure if you're doing anything real estate that you select the special ad category. Um, this has been around for a little bit. But if you don't select this and they start to see that you're mentioning anything about housing, your ad will automatically uh, be rejected um, because they don't want you um, discriminating because everybody deserves housing. So let's go through. Um, you can do an A-B test. So maybe you want to try like um, a different picture, um, you know, a different media or anything like that. You can test campaigns to see which performs better. And they'll they'll do they'll send traffic to 50% to A, 50% to B, and then Facebook will decide based on the numbers um, which one performed better. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way and click next. We don't need to do anything else right now. We're just running a basic ad. Um, and then we're gonna use an instant form. You can do an automated chat. So it's a chat that pops up in your on your Facebook page or it lets you pe people call um, your business then to get the lead. I like the instant form, that way 24 seven, my ad is running. So make sure you have the correct Facebook page selected. And then we're gonna set our daily budget. Uh, I'm gonna stick with $20, but you could do $10 a day, you could do $5 a day. Now with lead gen, let me just show you as an example, if you were to do $5 a day, it's gonna tell you that you could possibly get zero leads. And um, it's just because it's a low budget. Sometimes, like I said, it could be two to four to five to six, up to $10 a lead. It just depends on your area. It says that you'll spend 625 on some days and less than another. So what they do is they budget for a week or depending on how long your period of time is, you will never go over that amount. So even if you're only doing two days, you'll never go over $10. Um, some days will be more than others, but it's just to maximize your chance of getting the most uh, leads. So we're going to stick with $20 a day, okay? Um, and then your start date is here. So let's say we wanted to start first thing tomorrow morning at, let's say, 6 a.m. Let's set an end date. A lot of people always forget this. Um, I have clients that do this all the time. Make sure you set an end date unless you want it to run all the time, but you'll turn around and you'll have five, $600 Facebook ad bill and you're like, oh, I forgot to turn it off. Now, obviously, depending on budget and what your goal is, I always recommend to run a Facebook ad for at least two weeks, okay? Um, so we're going to run it till the 10th. Um, and then I always just have them end at night. So it's just easier to think about. And so let's go ahead and do PM. Got our two weeks. All right. Now, when it comes to this part, because it is a special ad category, we can't really change any of this, but the location. We're going to do Sugarland. And that is the area that I'm going to promote today. For our area, do you have to do a minimum 15 mile radius? You can make it larger if you'd like. You know, if you want to cover 24 miles or whatever, uh, 15 miles for me is enough because we do have a lot of people that are moving from this area to Sugarland and these other suburbs. So you just don't know where they're coming from. Now, locations, people living in or recently in this location. So I want, I usually would say, people living in this location. And the reason why is what if these people were visiting and now you're pushing ads out to people that no longer, who are no longer in the area and they weren't interested in living here, period. Uh, but for this, I want to get the best quality ad that I can. And then let's go ahead and go down. We can't change the age or any demographics because uh, we don't want to discriminate because everybody needs um, housing. 
You can do manual placement if you really want to get specific. For the simplicity of today, let's just do automatic placements. We'll let Facebook decide what is best. So let's click next. Um, select our Instagram page. We're just going to do a single image. Um, just go ahead and delete the media is there. And then I'm going to add an image. You can upload your own images in here. Then they'll be saved in here. So I'm just going to click this picture of a house for now. And then it's going to show you what it looks like on all the different feed types, as you can see. And then let's scroll down. So now we have our primary text. Our primary text is always the text that you see at the top of the ad. And then your headline will be at the bottom of the ad. So these are the two fields we're going to fill out. Now, I've already had the ad done, so you can also download this as well. Um, in the comments or in the description below, I will put a link to this simple ad copy that you can use and you can download it. You just got to put in your email address to get it um, and then it'll let you download that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff copied in and then we're going to go over the copy. I do have to make a few edits to it for this area. Okay, so we got our copy in. Just make sure that you see right here, it says hashtag city. Just make sure you put in the city or county that you're targeting and, um, cause you don't want to do that cause then people obviously know <laughs> that you're not professional. So we want this to look as good as we can. Um, and then let's go ahead and edit the last spot. All right. So as you see here, attention, Sugarland home buyers, check out this free list of upcoming open houses in Sugarland, Texas. This list is updated in real time every minute and is more up to date than Zillow or Realtor.com. Click below to get instant access to every open house in Sugarland. I like using the emojis because it does get people's attention. You could even come over here if we right click. We can do the double emoji like that. Um, it'll show up. Let's see. I put that there. There we go. The double red emojis to get people's attention, as you can see right there. Now, you have a couple ideas. So you see that you get very limited uh, space here. So you really want to play with wording to make sure that you get that attention grabber without giving all the information. So they'll click see more, spend more time on your ad and get invested in it. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Attention Sugarland home buyers. I want them to see that they're getting a free list of upcoming op open houses in Sugarland, Texas. Um, that way it feels like they're, you're not being too pushy or pushing a realtor down their throat um, that you're just letting them know, Hey, here's all the open houses. Um, if you're interested in going, and then click below. Obviously, you want to get them to look below. Um, so that's why we use the arrows to get instant access to that list. Okay. So now we're going to come down here and we want a link. So if you ever have questions about what stuff is, just hover over it. Show a shortened link instead of your for website URL. So this would be a display link if you want um, it to look prettier and you really wanted to enter it there. We're not going to do that. We're going to say learn more and then we're going to create a form. So um, I'm just going to duplicate this form because it pretty much has everything we want. So we're going to call this Sugarland Open Houses. So this form is going to collect the lead information and Facebook automatically does that. And so let's do an intro. Um, you can change your header. You can access all of that. So we're going to do get access to a list of open houses in Sugarland. And then fill out the form below to get access to. So we're going to make sure we change this to, to a list of. Open houses in Sugarland. And let's say get complete to a list of, make sure we got all that right, of open houses in Sugarland. Awesome. So they're going to fill out that form and then let's go next. So 
then you're going to ask questions. What questions do you want? So you do have to put some type of statement here. I always just put your information is not shared or sold to third parties as stated in our privacy policy. So I want their first, their last uh, name and their email and their phone number. Okay. And then you go to the privacy. This is where my privacy policy is. You do have to have that. Um, if you're going to do your um, own landing page or anything, or you already have a realtor website, you can do that. There's a review screen and then on completion, what do you want to happen? This is thanks you're all set to exit the form and get access to the latest. We'll just say, how about get access to a complete list of open houses in Sugar Land. Click view open houses. So this is right here. So the call to action will be view open houses. And then here is where we're going to put that URL that we talked about generating. So I already have it done here to save us some time. And there you go. And then we're going to say publish. So that will create the form. Okay. You see right here, here's all the forms that you could create. So you can use this for several ad ads if you want to. So now that we're all set up with that, let's just review. So we want to make sure we got our photo. We've got all of our hashtag cities removed. Everything says Sugarland open houses this weekend. And then we got our correct form selected. And now we can say publish. Now you do, would do the same process for any of the ads in this list. So you can see here that you can download. We got the open houses, uh, homes. You could do homes under 350,000. Now this will be just what a great price point is in your area that people would love to get a home, but make sure there's actually homes for that available. You can do a list of homes that just had a price reduction. Um, that's a great one as well. Uh, the most success that I got for a new agent was the open houses. That's why I showed you that one. And then two, you can do a seller's guide. So you could do a lead gen um, form as well, and then redirect them to that seller's guide. So you can store it in a Google Drive, generate a public link. And then at the end of the form, you would just put view seller's guide. And this is a way to attract sellers, um, uh, create a seller's guide. Um, if you're in our group here at eXp within our group at the Wolfpack, um, I have a free seller's guide uh, template for you available. Um, but this is a great way to attract sellers as well. So obviously these are going to attract buyers. Um, and even these buyers too could have homes that they need to sell before they go buy a new one. So, and then um, the next video that we're going to do on this will be how to automatically import these leads as they come in into your CRM or in some type of spreadsheet or database that you have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go subscribe, give me a like, uh, hit that notification bell so you know when all of our new uh, videos come out, as well as if you want to see a specific topic, um, put it down in the comments below. If you're interested in joining our group or even taking a look to see what our brokerage here at eXp offers and why so many agents are switching, um, even top producers switching to us because of our resources and our training and our compensation plan, um, hit us up because our group at the Wolfpack here, we are training people how to become modern agents, just like the training you saw here today um, to do all of your lead generation through digital marketing and social media. And if you have any questions and want to do a one-on-one, -on -one, all of my link um, contact information is below. The link to my calendar is below. Go ahead and schedule a one-on-one -on -one call and uh, I would love to talk with you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video.